guys, this is Ryan with Mountain Mama Brick Oven, and uh, today I'm going to be doing a smoke in my oven. A lot of my friends have asked how I do it, so I thought I'd do a step-by-step -step process of how I use my uh, brick oven as a smoker. What do you think? Pretty cool. I mean, who doesn't love playing with fire? And we're sitting at, uh, we don't have a light. Ooh, what does that say? About 450. Yep, so we're getting it ready for tomorrow to do a little slow cooking. We're going to let everything cool down. Tomorrow morning we should be right around 250. We might have to take the door off for a while. And then we're going to slow cook a pork butt. Getting close to the time of cooking the pork butt. Alright guys, so here's the oven outside. I only have the outer door on, not the inner door. So I'm letting it cool down a little faster because I need it to be in the oven in the next hour, hour and a half. Uh, so it'll be ready at dinner time tonight. So all of your cooking pretty much depends on your oven and your oven's behavior. Which is pretty cool, but also semi, I don't know, frustrating because you got to plan for it. <laughs> Got about another 50 degrees to go. So everything is all set up in there. Two bricks for the rack. We got about another 30 or 40 degrees to go to drop. And so we're ready to throw that thing in there with some smoke tubes. Catch you back when it's time. That is done. So we're gonna throw this thing back into the fridge and uh, let it get nice and ready for the oven. Hi right, guys, so I am going to be um, using these smoke pellet tubes to create smoke inside my oven when it's right around 250 and dropping to 225, 100 degrees over six hours. I got some, uh, I guess it's for Traeger wood fire grills, but they seem to run for a good long time. But I'll fill these things up with them, light them on fire, and throw them in when I'm ready to put the meat in there, and we'll get a nice smoky kind of uh, pork to it. Help out. Yeah. <laughs> ready. All right. So I got it all set up. We get the meat in there. This is the best way that I have found to light the tubes filled with that. There we go. Get a little smoke going now. And we're ready to wait. 
All right, so we're about 30 minutes into it. We closed the doors and the oven is now getting up around 230 and that's the ambient air temperature. Um, 208 on one side closest to the door, which is fine. The actual internal brick temp is still reading about 275 degrees, maybe 100 and, what, 140 degrees Celsius, 145 degrees Celsius. But starting to try and include Fahrenheit and Celsius. But we'll leave that closed up. And that is crucial. And then we'll check the all-around temp later with this to give you guys an idea of what the brick surface temps are. It's kind of a guessing game, but this is going to be low and slow. This one's um, definitely going to be low and slow. I'm going to have to leave it closed for a good while before I open it. It should still climb, though. It should still climb up to probably about 250, I'd say, over the next hour if I do not open the door. And uh, I keep the flue closed, which I forgot to do. So that'll stop the draw. I've got both of them, both of the doors plugged in there, and you can see the smoke still, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but it's still sneaking out from those pellets. And then we're gonna let it sit for a long time. Yep. This is the leftover brown sugar and mustard and salt and pepper and onion and garlic mixed with a little bit of juice and vinegar. Meat temp's about 163, air temp is climbing. Uh, 140s now, so we'll be back up to 250 here in a minute. We'll let it go for a little while. All right, so it's time to check. We are looking about 255, 265 ambient temperature inside the oven. We're at 195 on one side and 175 on the other. So I'm gonna check it out real quick. Got a nice crust formed for bark. Still got some smoke going even though it's not really doing much good anymore. Push this back. Put 
around 190, 180. We're gonna take it out and wrap it. Look at that goodness. Woo. Let's wrap it up and keep it going. All right, so let's see if this thing's done. It's been sitting here for about an hour. I think that's good enough. One hour should be good enough. Pretty sure that is uh oh yeah, perfect. Yeah, it's <laughs> definitely hard to see what happens. That's um definitely work. Hey, babe, it worked really well. You want to come see? It's going to fall. Making your sandwich. All right, I'm making them. <laughs> 